Hello everyone, my name is Megan McGillan and I am a food science and technology PhD student at Cornell University. My research focuses on antimicrobial resistance, specifically it improves upon conventional bacteriophage therapy using a double hurdle approach. I've always been interested in the use of art to convey the complex and abstract ideas that make science such a challenging but ultimately fulfilling pursuit. My main motivation for a video abstract was I was tired of people's eyes glazing over when I'd tell them about my research. Influenced by science animators like Dr. Janet Iowasa at the University of Utah and Dr. Sam Nugent at Cornell University, I was inspired to learn 3D animation to capture the nuances of the phage replication cycle in order to make my research as accessible as humanly possible. The process began with writing the script from which I developed a detailed storyboard that served as the basis for my animations. After animating the individual scenes, they were patched together and edited. The final product was a three minute long video resulting from a year's worth of research and six months of production. What appeals to me the most about research is its inherently creative nature. My undergraduate advisor once compared her needlework hobby to the fine-tuned motor skills required at the lab bench. This conversation planted a seed in my head, and as I progressed through my research career, I began to notice a lot more parallels between art and science. Such things as the ability to envision an end product and figure out the steps to get there, the frustrating process of trial and error, and the almost obsessive attention to detail, just to name a few. Perhaps the most important unifying feature between these two creative pursuits is the purpose behind them. Both the artist and the scientist are driven to uncover truths. Whether it's why a protein folds or how a heart breaks, they serve to deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. I believe biologist Dr. E.O. Wilson captures this philosophy best when he says, the ideal scientist thinks like a poet. On that note, I hope you enjoy my video. It was a pleasure to make and it is such an honor to share it with you.